Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mystic Messenger! Yeah! Oh my god, we're back! Holy shit, it's been so long! I know, I know! Oh my god, it's been so long! So many things have happened! And yes, hopefully we are back again! I hope this gets to you guys, at least on my Thursday slot! I'm so sorry again that I missed my Monday slot for uploading! And even though after I said I was like, oh, I'm gonna be back on schedule now, nope, I totally forgot there was a long weekend, so there was that. So I flopped on that. So we are back here again, Mystic Messenger, Jay He's out. We are still in the process of doing all her bad endings. And in the last episode, we finished off on getting her first bad ending. Yay! Well, we saw her, yeah, first bad ending. So her first bad ending basically um, entails the fact that we pursued Zen romantically, fervently, very adamantly <laughs> that we were super interested in Zen. We did not like the idea that the ship the shipping between Jehe and Zen done by the other characters, we are not for it. We were so adamant that we were gonna get that boy and we got the boy. So we got together with Zen um, after you know pursuing him relentlessly and like confessing to him. So uh, we didn't support Jehe at all in terms of her struggles and her dreams of you know trying to find her dream actually and her passions so we ended up together with Zen and after like a three year period or something like that we we in turn also like leading up to that point we in turn also were the one who went over to Zen's place rather than to let Jaehee go over there so that's what ended up happening we wrapped things up with a three years three year skip and then we're together with Zen, we're over at his place with Yusung and Jaehee's there. As if Jaehee is in a really like, he, she's she's not in a very good like state. Like she's sick, she's coughing because she's overworked herself and we were super worried about her. And she's just like, no, no, it's okay, it's, I'm fine. Like this is what, this is what I'm meant to do kind of thing, you know. And she turns to talk to us, she's like, you know, I'm gonna leave. But I hope that, you know, you continue to pursue your happiness because I couldn't. <laughs> and that's where we left off. That's how that bad ending went. So now we're back here. I said I was going to go a little out of order because I wanted to save up on Hourglass as much as I can. So what I'm going to do is essentially go on ahead and do both Bad Relationship Ends 1 and 2, which basically is at different points of the chat or the days. We are supposed to not participate in them less than like 30% or less in terms of that. So the first Bad Relationship End is uh, from the fifth day and you participate 30% or less and it goes on to the branching day of branching in it that bad app bleh, bleh, the bad ending happens on the branching day uh, day six I think it was or day seven I don't know it was the first branching point afterwards when we we go through all these conversations I have for the most majority of it because again um, these conversations are just really old and it's just the only difference is that we don't have our own input in it the characters essentially talk about the same thing the same subject matter of the chat but it's just that we're not there so I stopped here just because I like I was going through them and then I was like um what's it called I was reading through them really quickly really like scanning them really quickly and then I I paused at this one and I was like oh this looks like kind of like new newish a bit like there's a slight variation in it I don't know I'm not too sure but let's go through it anyway so yeah just Zen and Yusung just talking about him gaming his gaming addiction uh yeah that. so I gave up on dating yes what? We've all given up on dating, but I hope at least Jaehee finds someone. Yes, 7-2. Why is everyone suddenly worrying about Jaehee? Well, that's because we're guys, so women usually marry earlier than men. And that's a little sexist, but you know what? Like, whatever. You, you, you do you, I guess, you sung. Like, you should, you know, I guess he's just young. <laughs> he's just young for now. He'll learn, don't worry. So anyways, yeah, so... Yes, oh. Annihilated, she wasn't, she wasted her prime, yes, blah blah blah, working 24 hours under Juman, all the, all the members are missing out on dating, but yeah, I guess, Jaehee needs to find someone faster than all of us, yeah. Uh, the things Seven rambled on just before, I agree that she should find someone by falling in love with, then watching Zen's DVDs, yes, she can't just watch your DVDs forever, I think it'd be nice for her to go on dates, that may be true, but dating is good, but I think she also needs a friend, yes. Uh, are my musicals that great? Yes, of course, just looking at my face is a great experience. <laughs> true, <laughs> true, true. Lol. Oh, uh, really yes, all. yeah, Jaehee's a big fan of yours, and then Zen's like, really? Jaehee's Jay my fan? Oh my god, but she's such an intelligent person. She's, just, she's such an intellectual, how can she be? But Zen, girl, boy, hello? Have you seen yourself? 
She's a huge fan. Really, she really likes you, Zen. I'm so shocked that you didn't know. She always says、uh, good things about your performances here. I knew that she looked at my performances favorably and with interest, but fan. I know, right? Jaehee loves your musicals. Yeah, she's just not one of those crazy fan girls. Yeah, who screams their lungs out. <laughs> Then she might really be a fan. Of course she is. Is she attractive? Why are you asking me that? That's such a that's such an uncomfortable question.、Um, because you ask these kinds of questions、uh, to men. Ah, so just wanted to know、uh, since seven since you saw yeah, Jumin treats women like stone. <laughs> yes. To answer Yu Sung's question, so what do you think about Jaehee? Well, I would say she's quite a beauty, right? I don't、uh, really care for her looks, so I don't know. But I think she's beautiful. She has a good career, a better stable job, and she seems better than every than at me at everything. Yes, I don't even ha- have a stable job and blah blah, and I'm a narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, you admit you're narcissistic. Come on, I'm good. I'm so good looking that I got a fan club without doing anything. <laughs> I love him. Oh, it's like, do you plan on inviting your fan club to the party? And he's like, what?、And、it's like, how about it? That really threw me off. But what if? Just what if?、Uh, him, Jaehee has a stable life, so wouldn't someone like her be a better suit? Uh, my environment doesn't let me provide stability to another person, and as a woman, I never、uh, want her to go through that. Yes. Oh, my friend is telling me to come online. Yes,、I、have to go. So, but how did we end up talking about this? I should go and rehearse. Yes. I'm gonna go practice、uh, until I'm too tired and just fall asleep. There we go. So that's what I wanted to show you. I think there might be, it might be my my bad memory, but I I totally did not like. Remember Zen being that boisterous <laughs> and that like boasting, and like yeah, it's me. Anyways. I'm gonna go right ahead. I might skip out on a lot of these conversations if they don't have much, too much interest to like give in terms of anything different. So, for example, Jumin's here. He's just gonna talk really briefly about his trip and as well as you know why is everyone talking about Jay? He's love life all of a sudden. Okay, so basically, I went through majority of the six day conversation after that last、uh, fifth day conversation.、Um, again, really short. Stuff conversations, where it's like it pertains to the subject matter at hand. It's just the characters talking about it. Zen got injured. Jaehee got worried that she and she was like, "Oh, should I go visit him at the hospital?" And of course, Zen was like, "No, he'll be fine." And blah blah blah. Like he's used to taking care of himself, but maybe just for once, this is his way of you know he's. You know, just putting up a front where he's like, he seems like he's okay, but he's not on the inside, and you should totally go visit him. Seven's way of teasing Jaehee, and then of course she ran it by Jumin, but Jumin was like, "No, I have work for you. My father gave me this coffee project, coffee cafe project, and、uh, you have to do it because you're the only competent one on the team." And she's like, "Wait, but I have so much work already," and sh- he's just like, "I know, but like just slack off." And she's like, "I guess," and that's what happened. The hacker thing, Seven announced that you know he. Found a hacker slash stalker, and she's telling everybody to be careful. He's warning everybody, and of course, Jumin. I mean, Yu Sung and Zen here in this conversation were just talking about it. They're like, "Oh my God, that's so weird. That's so crazy that there's a stalker and、uh, like slash hacker here." And you know, is it really serious? Because you know, we're just an organization that you know hosts parties and shit. And, like, why would anyone come after us? And they're like, "I don't know." So <laughs> they're like really like spooked, a little spooked. But then Zen is just like, "It's probably nothing." Thing. Like you know, whatever. It's probably nothing serious. Maybe we're just overreacting. But hey, let's just be cautious, anyways. And blah 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 blah. So yeah, there's that. And of course, they were kind of hinting at some point in the conversation between Zen and Yu Sung. They were like saying how like, oh, it's so weird because it might relate to Hanny because she was, you know, isn't it weird how, you know, she she was like, you know, randomly logged into like the chat, this chat. Application the first time like around and we didn't like personally invite her. Of course, the stalker or the hacker has to, must have something to do with her, right? Blah blah blah, kind of thing. Uh, Jumin talked about sending his security guards because he got in contact with V, or V contacted him about the whole issue. So it must be pretty serious. So he's like, I'm gonna send security guards to around Yu Sung's place and、uh, Zen's place as well because you know they're the most vulnerable there. And so he's just like, yeah, let's just be careful, let's just be cautious, and blah blah blah. So this is the last conversation before the, of course, branching point here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peru- go through. Oh wait, no, I don't want to participate in it. Yes. Yes, leave this chat room. No, I don't want to. I totally forgot. Like that's like a freebie, but we're not supposed to do that. So no, we don't want to go. We don't want to be a part of it. So yes, I came back just for a short time and a hacker. Yes, God, my head hurts and stop stopped by to rest a bit. You must have been pretty busy to really log in today. Yes, I was hit with a storm of work today. Yes, did you find any information on the hacker? Ha ha ha. Yes, ha ha ha. Ha ha. Laughed nervously. 
He's like, please answer the question. Yes, yes. So, Jehi, the project you're working on right now, isn't it about researching the coffee shop franchise? You remembered, yes. Uh, Mr. Han had to take on the on another department's work because of the cherry farm. I am very glad to hear Zen got back back home safe. So yeah, he recovers like a monster, so he must get the cast off uh, taken off tomorrow or something like that. Yes, he's, he recovers very quickly. So anyways, I'm relieved he recovers as well. I hope he gets better soon. That way he'll be able to protect himself if something happens. Yes. So like, how much have you found out so far? I found traces of an intrusion, and the more I dig deeper, the more it seems clear that, that, to me that they are after us. Yeah, so you mean you, they didn't just attack us by accident? No. That's why it's scary. So why would anyone... The scarier part is I don't think it's just one person behind this. So you mean several people are, might be involved? Yes. I don't know why they are coming after us, but when I chased the server the hacker used, I found possible ties to questionable companies, and one person couldn't have done the hacking. I really don't understand. Uh, why would an organized group come after RFA? I want to know oh. that too. To be honest, I haven't found anything else. It, this is worrisome. I know. I wonder how the ending is gonna like conclude itself. Like how this bat? Maybe maybe we get kicked out of the RFA because we're too dangerous. We're a liability. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. If Mr. Han says it's true, I am most worried about Zen. And like everyone else, Zen does physical work. If something bad happens to happens and he hurts himself, everyone has to be careful, not just Zen. So I think. They said they're gonna place security guards around his house, but I think that w that will help a bit. Zen is injured at the moment. Putting aside his safety, he will also be starting his new piece soon. Yes, so I'm worried that so something might ba something bad might happen to him. So why don't you or Hanny go to Zen's house and take care of him? Me or Hanny? Yeah. When something happens, it's always good to have company. You, if you or Hanny are there, you can always ask for help from others if something happens. That might actually lessen the danger. That's true, but how could I dare stay at his house? So let's make a world where everyone helps each other. His ankle probably still hurts, so I think it'd be nice for someone to help. But a woman going? Uh, that might seem inappropriate. Inappropriate? What inappropriate? <laughs> what are you imagining? <laughs> I did not. Oh my god, you totally did. So I did not. I was only considering social customs. Yes, yes. So they're just uh, talking about, yes, uh, going over to Zen's place. Yes, yes, yes. Um... And of course, Zen won't let won't like Yusung or Z Seven to come over because you know they're dudes and it's weird. <laughs> uh, yes, if it's not you, it, it's and it's not as if you'll be alone with Zen. Yes, you got a bunch of bodyguards outside, so why don't you just go? You know, reason one why Jehi or Hani must go to Zen. Yes, and he's like scaring her to this metaphor where it's like a lynx attacks him, <laughs> and she's just like, oh no. <laughs> Like, it's, like, I know that won't happen, but, like, something bad would, would happen. I should contact Hanny as well. Zen face is on the line here. Who cares about social customs? That is true. Yeah, I'll get going. Lucio, I hope you stop oh. playing around and solve the hacker problem fast. Yeah. Are you blaming everything on Mina? I'm not. I'm only saying that you should go back to work. Hello. Yes. Then I'll hurry. So, uh, will she summon up her courage? <laughs> he's like a he's like a rom com sort of narrator. Where he's like, will he? Will she summon up the courage to go visit Zen's house? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> there we go. So that's the last of it. We'll tap open to the next branching point and see if this is where the bad ending is. I have no idea. I have no idea. But let's just. Let's just see. I, th I swear it is. I swear it is. Oh, story mode! There we go! Yeah, there, so... Yes? Yes? What story mode is this? Do I remember this? Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Okay. I think this is it, you guys. I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is! Okay, let's see how it happens. <gasps> is this the hacker or is this, is this seven? Uh-oh! <laughs> who is it? Open the yeah, we gotta say who is it. We can't just blindly open the door, Hanny. Hanny, that's dumb. Okay, who is it? Who is it? Google say Huh? Uh? I didn't recognize that huff. Jay, he is, is that... No? Ah, I <laughs> I knew it. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I was like, it can't be. What am I saying? It can't be Jehi because she don't know how to hack the shit. So yeah, I figured it'd be you. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Is that why? Okay. Really? 
I love it. Like you're seeing your lazy attitude. <laughs> like you're, you're useless. Okay. Okay. So are you gonna take me now or what? Are you still gonna give me your super villain speech here? Yes, yes, yes. I am a bystander. Yes, I am part of the problem. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, Kaja! Kaja! <laughs> yes! Let us get kidnapped. <laughs> okay. Okay. So culty. Okay, anyways. Well, we've sort of figured it anyway that this is a huge cult. That he's part of a cult. Anyways, there's our bad ending. Hey! Okay, so I thought. I thought. Yes, thank you. Thank you, V. Anyways, I thought that we would get um we would get kicked out because, you know, suspicions would arise in terms of like the whole talks, but I guess not. We just end up getting kidnapped, like getting taken, because we're apparently not going along the, you know, unknown's plan unintentionally. And so he decided that we're useless. <laughs> we're just like we're just here. We're just not doing anything. Anyway, so the next bad relationship ending, I can't why does everything say 11th day? But I swear I saved it on every each like uh, branching point. So I think it's it's here that we should be because it says that we're supposed to pass the the next bad relationship ending for Jehi that we need to do is that we need to pass the seventh day branching point and then from then on, from there on we do we participate less than 30 percent of the conversation. So I'm pretty sure it must be the slot here. I hope. I hope. I hope it doesn't take me to like just a little bit before the sixth day. Oh, I think it might. Dang it! I think it might. I might. Yeah. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I just wasted five hourglasses. Oh god. Okay. Load that. We're supposed to do go down here. I'm pretty sure because again, if my saves are correct, in which I saved just before branching points, then yes, then this should be the right one here. Okay, let's check. Wait, what? There was no day seven branching point, was there? I'm pretty sure there was only... There was only the eighth day, yeah? Am I correct or am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know. Wait, what? Because the guide said... Wait. No, no, it wouldn't make sense because sixth day just had a branching point. Yeah, I remember now. So, see, fifth day we did fifth day conversation. We did it sixth day. Yeah, so it, it wouldn't make sense. So this is quote unquote the sixth day was the seventh day branching point. We pass. Wait. Oh shoot, no. <sighs> I'm so I'm so sorry, you guys. I am so sorry. I can't. I'm. It's been a while. Okay, it's been a while. Look at me go, wasting hourglasses, just doing loads <laughs> and say, oh, I'm so bad, I'm so bad, okay, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I know I'm dumb, you guys, I know, okay, so, this is where we're supposed to be, we did all the conversations correctly, here, okay, this is where we're supposed to be, we did all the conversation correctly, we participated previously, and so now we passed this point but then now we still don't participate here I think I'm pretty sure yes 
Cause there's no, there's no, okay. I just wanna check. I just need to see. I swear there's no day seven branching point. There's absolutely no, no and none of that. Cause we just had a branching point. It wouldn't make sense if we had another one. Um, yeah, it's true. Okay, so there we go. So the guide is a little wonky. The guide was saying how there's a seven day brand report that you have to make it up to. And then from there on, you're not supposed to participate in any of the conversations. But no, it's here actually in the six day branching point where you're supposed to pass that first hurdle. And then once you do that, you're supposed to not participate in anything else. And then the bad ending is supposed to happen in the next branching point, which is in day eight, I believe. Yes. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. So. We're gonna do that, and then uh, I don't know if I'm. I'll include a couple of the conversations, but I feel like again, they might just. Yes, yes, I know. I know, I know. Okay, as I was saying, I might skip out on a couple of conversations just because again, it might just you know pertain to the subject matter at hand, and it's just the the characters just talking about it. Nothing much, except the only difference is that we don't have our own input in it. So maybe perhaps I'll be I'll go through these last two just to see and then yeah we'll we'll go on from there. So Hani, are you there? I found a group yes about the whole thing, and Jay he just talk about yes I don't want to invite them I'm not there anyways so yes and since we are not certain how dangerous our enemy threats are, I'm thinking it I decided that it'd be better for me to be by Zen and take care of him. He will be much safer as I am taking more security guards. Being careful is never bad. Of course I received permission from Mr. Han so I hope uh, I have informed everyone. There you go. See, so like I said, because usually characters would just convert with just like chats by themselves, like they they just they're super short. Like they just kind of muse about what they want to talk about and then they just was like okay that's it and uh, yeah it's so, okay so here we have zen she uh he he's here just talking about how jay he's here and yeah he's just like this is visit this is kind of weird because i've never had anyone over at my place taking care of me like this so it's like yeah it doesn't feel bad but it's like yeah it's nice so yeah to have someone about you uh, as to some to have someone worry about you because you're sick to be honest it's been a very long time since i had this so uh, having someone look after me except when my brother took care of me when I was little that I think it's the first time So Jay he bought me some food cigs and a whole army of security guards. How does she know what brand I smoke? Anyways, I feel so grateful for Jay he I need to get better soon by the way. Where should Jay he sleep? I don't know. It's for you to decide because it's your house <laughs> Anyways, as, I'm pretty sure as a gentleman he'll probably let her take her bed. He'll probably let uh, yeah, her take his bed Anyways, yeah, so that's that. That wraps up the six day conversation. I'm gonna go on ahead on to the seventh day. Again, I'll probably skip out on a lot of the stuff because simply because again it's like really normal, nothing much happens, it's the same old conversations, so nothing much changed. So yeah. But I'll I'll definitely let you guys know if anything new comes up, I'll go through the conversation. Since I I can go in as many times as I as I please without having to waste hourglasses, so yes. Okay guys, I was going through the conversations and I had made two points of interest or more like three points of interest that I want to touch face on. I just quickly skimmed through it, found a couple of seminaries and then a couple of things that are really different and amusing. I'm just going to go through, through them again. I was going to make my way towards most of the conversation and then come back to these to these just to show you. But anyways, let's just do this. So Jaehee is just talking about how Zen, yeah, she's over at Zen's place and it's her point of view. So she just went to bed and oh, game please. Yes, and then she's just saying how like I regret not coming here. So I regret not coming here sooner. The fan letter address did not state which floor he lives, so I never dreamed that he lived in a half underground apartment. So yes, like why would he? Like the ventilation is horrible here. Why would he choose to live here? Like it, I could tell that he lives here by himself for a very long time because there's nothing but water and beer in the fridge. <laughs> the house is clean, but I don't think anyone has visited him in a in his in, visited him at home in a while. The first aid kit is the only thing that's kept properly. I would. I'm worried that he has no one around him, so I like to come here, to, uh, here time to time to cook some meals for him to eat. But even if I'm an RFA, that's a bit too much, isn't it? No. No, you're just being a good friend. So a girlfriend is supposed to do this for him, but he's not in the position to start seeing anyone. I should come here time to time to until he gets until his legs gets better. So he said he started living by himself since middle school. Yes, uh, I think he neglected himself too much since then. 
Yeah, uh, true. He's uh, he lives like a bachelor. <laughs> and true, true to your words, Jehe. I'm curious whether he no longer speaks to his parents and more about his personal life. Yes. Uh, it's a known fact among the fans that he did not get along very with his family very well before he was famous. But now he is quite a popular musical actor. I hope that the warm shadows of his family still follow him around, although they cannot be felt here. Ah, that's like very. I thought it was very sweet of Jay to say that because it's like, oh, okay. So there was that conversation, and then there was this one with with Jumin and J uh, Zen. Jumin and Zen. So Zen, of course, this is when. It's the next day, Jay he woke up before him just to go to work, and but she obviously lets him breakfast in. He's like, Oh, this is so like I'm so grateful. It's like, yeah, Assistant Kang seems to care for you a lot. Yes, I'm so grateful. Yeah, I don't even remember the last time someone cooked for me. She made breakfast before she left, yeah. So if you're grateful, then get better soon so that my assistant has no business going there. Yes, I should. So do you think Jay he's at home resting? I don't think she got any sleep last night. The home. She probably uh, she's probably on her way to work. Yes, that is Jay he. So you must have forgotten that my assistant actually has an office job. Oh, right. So it must be so difficult for her. Kept drinking coffee last night. Dang, girl. She's not coming back here after work, is she? She is, knowing her. And, and she expressed that as well, too. And we, of course, knew that. No, no that's gonna happen. So are you that shameless to hope for Assistant Kang to come back? No, I'm fine by myself, of course. I think Jehee should be the one to get some rest. Don't be so strict and give her some days off. Not happening. Ugh. <laughs> I love how, like, the, bu the bubble emphasizes that. We have so much work right now that's not possible to get a day off. So when have you ever not been busy? Hmm, never. <laughs> you should really be thankful to have a good employee like Jehe. Loosen up a bit and tell her thanks for working without taking a day off. So I thank my employees with money. I mean, <laughs> words will only temporarily make them feel better. So so, so damn unfriendly. <laughs> Uh, you should know that there are people who can't control who can't who you can't control with money. I know that people who only have huge egos. Why? Why feel guilty? You are such a jerk. Let's just say you and so just uh, are such a jerk. <laughs> I can't believe a bright and meticulous person like Jay is being exploited by a jerk like you. The world is scary. Yes, I see you've just only realized the world revolves around capitalism. <laughs> He's so right though. He speaks the truth. Jay He was only here a couple hours that the house completely changed. I was so surprised this morning to find everything in the bathroom lined up in the shelves. And there are fruit and there were there was fruit and a cup of ice lemonade on the kitchen table. Where did when did she go buy the fruit? Do you feel as if you got a mom? <laughs> what, what do you mean mom? <laughs> I did feel as if someone was caring for me. Um, I, I was at least close with her in the organization. Never thought this would happen. I was yeah, I was at least close with her in the organization. Never thought that this would happen. What if I went to your house and did the same? Would you have felt the same way? <laughs> Are you high? Yes, ha. Huh? I love Jumin. He's funny in his own way. So you've you've always refused my help. Why aren't you discriminating to let her help you so easily? Receive help from Jaehee. I was generally surprised that when she came yesterday, uh, she was uh, going on about not she was going on about not me not being able to act if something happens, and I couldn't just tell her to leave. So you're proven once again that your weakness is women. My God, it's my instinct. What can I do? Make sure you control your instincts. Why are you saying that to me? Seeing my father makes me realize every time how instincts can change a person. Yes, apparently so. I'm telling you not to let your instincts take over and do something stupid. Do anything stupid. How could I ever to someone like Jaehee? I don't think that would ever happen. Dude, what are you implying? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, Jumin, stop. Lay off on the poor guy. Don't ever think about touching my assistant. It'll disturb her work. She ver she's very busy anyways. Eh, everyone wants Jaehee to see someone, but you only care about yourself. That's how companies work. Shove that worry aside. I have no plans to. Good. <laughs> Jaehee and I are too different. Ah. Oh yeah, this is... I think this is the way... Yeah, she grew up in a house, a good household and received good education. This is where Jumin's gonna... Reveal the fact to Zen that that would that say yeah that's the complete opposite that she didn't grow up in a good household. She was uh, verbally abused by her. Well, I I think so. Yeah, she was verbally abused by her aunt. At least her aunt. Yeah, you can ask detail yourself. It's rude for me to uh, talk about it when she's not even here. But one thing, yeah. Well, what just one thing is that she yeah she doesn't seem to live a sheltered life as you think she did. 
We already have a lot of work on our hands, so we can't afford any delays. So such a mean boss, yes. I don't need Jehi's help. I can get better by myself. You really don't need help? Jehi took her time to go and look after you. Stop saying that and just get better soon. Uh, are you giving me a- are you try are you trying to give me a hard time? A bit. Anyways, I hope you recover soon. I have to go get ready for work. Yeah, thanks for letting me borrow Jehi. I only lent you security guard. She went there because she wanted to. Did she? Goodbye. Ah, see, that was like the hint there that Jimin gave to Zen. She's like, no, she went there because she wanted to. And Zen's like, what? And it's like, yeah, uh huh. And then, and this is the next point of interest. I didn't realize that this conversation, these conversations would be a little bit more entertaining than they should be. So this, the first part here was like, yes, they were talking about how Yusung has so many security guards up at front. He's a little nervous to go out, but he's like, I still haven't found the hacker. My head's about to explode, poor Seven. And my heart's about to explode from all the pressure. I need to rest. I know, I'm so sorry. I should go meet my neighborhood friend Tom. What? My neighborhood friend Tom? I've known him for a long time, yes. Tom, we've heard of him. I didn't get him as a guest, though. <laughs> So yes, uh, I feel like there's, a, there's a, suddenly a new character. Really, I didn't tell you about my best friend Tom. I never heard of him. Yes, no, we're not going to invite him to the party. He is a person, right? Yes, so if you want to, that's a relief. I thought it could be a cat or a raccoon. <laughs> I mean, that'd be pretty cute. Or some imaginary person or a grocery store NPC. He's not. <laughs> Don't insult my friend Tom. Oh, lol, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad to hear Jay. He went over to Zen's, uh, to Zen's safe. Uh, but history was not written. What do you mean? She just went to visit uh, him because Zen's sick. Yeah, just saying. But you know, since we're talking about them, Jehi and Zen... Uh-huh. Uh, do you think there might be at least a 0.00% chance that they might fall for each other? Everything, if everything goes well, it, then it's really a fan dating a celebrity. Yeah, that is romantic, but not really fun. But I want to see Zen with Gay Jumin together, and then Zen oh, and Jay really? romantically involved. That's yeah. more fun. <laughs> Witnessing their fights every day. What's up with you? <laughs> He's so funny. Is that the important? Is that important for you? Which scenario is more fun? Yes. Honestly, I was worried about Zen, so I kind of indirectly prompted Jay to go see Zen. I do feel better that Jaehee's taking care of Zen, not a bad idea to be careful, but yeah. Anyways, I'm glad Jaehee and Zen are getting along. Jaehee seems really busy, I hope she gets to take a break soon, and I hope we find out who's attacking us, yes. <laughs> Seven's so funny, he's like, nah, I rather- I ship Zen and Jumin, not Zen and Jaehee. <laughs> he's so funny. Um, yeah, don't you think he or she is a big threat? It's probably because I'm tired. I'm gonna go sleep for an hour, yes. Yeah, you do that. Go ahead and you do that. Yeah, people might think you're a corporate heir and gossip about you. Yes, how he's like... What? I, did, I didn't catch that last part. I have to go to school in the afternoon. I guess the security guards would be following me. Following me. Yes, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty awkward if he goes to school and he's like being followed by a security guard. And it's just like, uh, is Gusung like suddenly a chable? <laughs> Anyways, yes, regardless, that's all the that's all the conversa conversations I made it up thus far. I think I might... Yeah, I think I might just like skip out on these ones. It's just, again, just a one person convo, and they're just gonna talk about the subject matter at hand. And it's gonna, so far, I think for the most part, it's gonna be really super short. So I'm gonna skip out on that. Hey guys, it's been a time skip. So, in case you might have noticed, um, yeah, so with this been a time skip here I basically from the last clip that you saw in the episode to now um, we were in the midst of doing I, I was in the midst of doing the conversations remaining to get the bad relationship ending too and uh, as you last saw we were supposed to pass the six day slash seven day branching point and from there on continue on to do you know all the other conversation but not participate in them so I didn't, so I, w I went ahead and I did that, but then I got so confused because it's like we passed the 8th day branching point and I thought previously that that was where it was supposed to happen, but then checking back on the guide, it says that the bad ending is supposed to happen on the 10th day branching point. So um, I did, I continued on my way, I was like, okay, you know what, like I'm still not participating, you know, my logic is I'm still not participating in any of these conversations, so it has to amount to like at least 30%, so either way, it should register that since I'm not participating in these like conversations day on afterwards from the day six branching point it would still you know count towards the bad relationship ending two on the tenth day not necessarily on the eighth day because there wasn't you know it uh, uh, programming wise or like you know the coding wise it wasn't programmed to have anything happen thereafter so nothing much really happened 
It's just all the conversation went on about its way like regularly. So it's Jaehee. Jaehee is just you know was dumped with more work by Jumin because of the whole like uh, she she had to do like a presentation for this cat hotel, his crazy cat hotel idea, and she was like over in an, uh, over in on her head, and she uh, seven offered to help her and stuff, and everybody felt really bad, and of course Jumin as well was like I need to you to resubmit the report on the coffee house that you did because it's too detailed, it's too it's too like accurate kind of thing. Like we're not supposed to put in so much effort into this coffee report. So so why don't you just kind of dumb it down kind of bit and then yeah so he sent it back she was really upset about that and afterwards she after she broke down to zen and when he came by to give her the uh, presser the uh, grinder she was like okay um they went out for lunch they had a great time and they came to do and then jay he took zen to like you know to the company to do the to do the presentation presentation went well she used the one that seven made for her and of course juman did not like that he was like why didn't why isn't elizabeth the mask uh, blah 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 and she was just like I don't understand why you're so mad about this because you know the the investor the person was really happy about it and they were really like you know yeah they were really satisfied by it but he's like no I wanted to be that my way he was being a little brat so Jaehee of course was like oh whatever you have to do just deal with it and then of course that led up to Jumin um not Jumin firing her but like Jaehee willingly quit as well too so it's just a it's the same way it's a two-way kind of thing and it's like you know they all kind of agree that you know Jaehee did not want to work with Jumin anymore Jumin got really stressed because that means he has to hire a new assistant and then he went on his joyride with Seven as a as vengeance <laughs> as like revenge and then yeah that's it so everything went on regularly so this is where the 10th day branching point was supposed to happen so this is here I went on ahead and I like tapped on it to unlock the branching point because again I wasn't too sure whether or not it would you know register as towards the bad ending that, I, that we're going for here so I, I'm pretty sure it does unless my memory betrays me but anyway this is the only two remaining things that we that had appeared when I you know went on ahead and said to unlock the branching point in the, in the 10th day so hopefully fingers crossed that this will be our bad relationship ending number two and we can finally wrap this episode up and then we can go on ahead and finish the last two of her bad endings before we get started on deep route i know i know it feels like it's like i'm dragging this on forever but it's just again a whole hourglass thing and, and this is really tedious to do okay anyways regardless so let's jump right into it let's get in on this conversation suspicious feelings by jayhee Okay, that's why why are you getting suspicious now? Mr. Han, what have you done? You're here, please explain. Uh, isn't your phone acting strange? Your phone? Okay, why? Uh, my calls keep getting disconnected. Are we getting hacked? Is that it? Uh, it must be broken. You should change it as soon as you can if you want to work. It's difficult not having an assistant. No, really, yeah. If you are busy, I can simply volunteer to help. Uh, no, I'll just have to ma I'll just have the manager to take care of it. Okay, so he can be my assistant for the time being. Okay. I wonder if he will be okay after that. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. So I feel like I haven't, I haven't, we haven't done this before. I don't remember. It hasn't been long since I got it, but it's already broken. I should use a different brand next time. Uh, are you really okay though, Jumin? I'm fine. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, why, Jumin? Why can't I call you? You called. Okay. So everybody's phone is acting up, so yeah, but I think my phone is a bit weird. The calls keep getting disconnected. That's strange. Mine's doing that as well. Yes, indeed. I suppose you both need to get your phones fixed. Um, that's a little bit too much of a coincidence. Hmm, I should borrow driver Kim's phone. I'll be off. Uh, he left so soon. Okay. Or maybe it's the phone. It's weird that Juma's phone isn't working too. It must be a coincidence. No, coincidence. Uh, I'm going to go get my phone looked at. Uh, go ahead. I'm glad that Mr. Han What's seems okay, you? but hmm. Come to think of it, my phone hasn't been ringing for hours now. I'm expecting quite a few calls. I should go check. I should go check it. Is anybody gonna get kidnapped? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's a little weird. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with unknown. Probably messing with the network and stuff and like that. But anyways, it's regardless. Let's just go ahead and see what the story mode is. What's happening? What's going on? Guys. Okay, so oh, okay, so here we are. We are in our little little apartment, Rika's quote unquote apartment. You cannot make a call. This phone has been tapped. <gasps> Ew, it's been tapped. Oh. Welcome to the special security system. Uh oh. 
The code has been entered. The special security system is deactivated. Oh, here he comes. He's just coming through. He's like, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, unknown. Are you there? Hello? Well, the peaceful RFA. I bet no one knew I'd come here. What? I guess they hoped everything will be fine after V was sold out to Mint to Mintai. Oh, God. But who said we'd follow the rules? That red-haired boy with the funny name, Lucille, did he follow the rules? Uh, who are you? Dougal Sale! <laughs> who are you? Uh, the person who will invite you to heaven! Hmm, yes, call me an angel. I wonder why there's no voice acting this time. Don't be so scared. You're shaking? If you're shaking already, what are you going to do later? I have a fun program planned out for you. Oh no. <laughs> so, why did you get distracted? Why, what do you mean? <laughs> it's all because of your, of your ambiguous attitude that you're caught too early. That you're caught so early. My ambiguous attitude? If you decided your feelings, you should have acted faster, miss. Oh, okay. Or did you want to see me? No. If that's the case, I'll be with you even when you get sick of me. So look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> now let's get out. You better not fight back. You have no. You have no right to refuse. Right? Cause I fucked up. <laughs> Don't make that face. I'll bring along. I'll bring all the RFA members one by one soon. Uh, we'll all meet happily in heaven. Oh no. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, that was really weird. That's a. There we go. At least it worked out. I mean, quote unquote, worked out in a way where it's like I actually got my bad ending, the bad ending, bad ending that we were working <laughs> towards to. to. So yeah, there it is. Oh my god, oh, bad relationship end two. So we we got caught out. We got taken away by unknown because we uh, we flaked. <laughs> we we flopped. We flopped and we flaked out on this whole entire round. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. So. I'm gonna end this episode here as I said after we completed that thank god thank god because I did not I did not want to go back and have to like waste hourglass just to load saves and shit but anyways regardless on, on that note I actually recovered my hourglasses during my conversations with um the chats like even though I didn't participate in them sometimes they the the chats lead to you know giving me hourglasses so you know uh, slowly but surely I like you know, got my hourglasses back that I wasted on, you know, loading my saves because I couldn't remember shit. Anyway, so yeah, so there we go. Uh, we're gonna end it here, and then on the next episode, um, I will probably do separately for the last two endings because I feel like it might take a while longer. It involves doing other choice answers, so we're gonna go through that, and uh, yeah, we, we will wrap things up there. It's so close, you guys, so close. I know, I know, I know. Just hang in there, hang in there, and then we'll get there. Don't worry, don't you worry. I think, honestly, I have enough hourglasses to make it through, but... I Either way, again, I could I could just be saying that, but uh, those hourglasses they go so fast. But anyways, regardless, I will definitely have um, a bad ending episode happening soonish because at least one of them because I have enough to do the conversation. So anyways, um, I will just reload my save, I guess. Oh, I, I could do it afterwards, you guys. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I'll say bye to you here. So thank you again for your patience. Thank you so much for the support. I love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, tune in next time. But for now, bye.